Good morning, folks. I want to start today by pointing out my featured channels list. Now, nobody on here holds my exact opinions or covers the same topics, and that's why I direct you here. My opinion is merely one opinion, and it really does help to hear many. Now, I've tried to get a little bit of everything. You remember Suspect Sky put out some great UFO compilations. Our Electric Sun buddy, formerly known as Teller at Current, is now Star Observer. I'll take that as a compliment, bro. Heads up, MR2, Wise Beyond Your Imagination, Hyper Report with Scott. I also recommend taking a pen and paper to my video Champions of the Future and writing down all the other folks I couldn't add here. And while you're at it, last night I finally put out a video addressing the solar kill shot. Been a long time coming. It's also linked below, check it out. Tropical Storm Wukong never hit typhoon status as it is over top the southern Philippines right now and expected to weaken before grazing Vietnam. Europe, again, this well-defined low is unable to hold the clouds for rotation, so there's unpredictable shear and inner rain bands. You gotta check local reports and forecasts. Not so in the southwest Pacific where warm tropical air coming down the Australian west coast is set to heat Perth next day or so. The area just north of the pressure convergence in both Australia and New Zealand are set for more thunderstorms. Been a minute since a land-based low drove such evidently helical motion. This is winter storm Euclid and while snow is its past and future, the last 24 hours have seen horrendous weather flying across the southeast. Multiple tornadoes dropped. There is more coming and please, please, please don't sleep on this one. It takes 30 seconds to check your local weather after lunch. Here's a quick look at the thunderstorm watch zones for the rest of the world. The solar wind speed in yellow is dropping near sub 300 kilometers per second levels. That is considered low for the solar wind. Yesterday, NOAA had no magnetic danger labeled for the sunspots, and our primary sunspot here, you'll remember, I thought we were headed the other way. After 24 hours of indeed increasing solar activity, and with NOAA now having relabeled 11635 Beta Gamma, I'll again go the other way. These spots are now headed away from the Earth facing position and in strong decay. Sadly, this may have actually gone delta at some point yesterday, but the structure just isn't holding. I will of course keep an eye out for change there along with the development on the northeastern limb. Got a ways to go there. Looking at the planets, tilting to view near the ecliptic planes and zooming in, we see the Earth about to pass between the dwarf planet and Mercury, Venus coming up as well. We also have a full moon tomorrow, and given that the southern dark coronal hole is facing Earth and the northern hole should strike us with solar wind stream tonight or tomorrow, I guess we'll have a small quake watch to end the year. Don't miss the links beneath the video. Eyes open, it's 5.55 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.